Eddie Hoffaday and welcome back to KOM News Extra. On the 23rd of this month, an extremely informative seminar appropriately entitled The Wealth Management Seminar, Recycling Your Money, Keeping It in the Family will be held over in the tourist capital of Tumon. And here to explain this very worthwhile endeavor are the main sponsors of the event from First Hawaiian Bank. We have Vice President Lynn Manalo and Security Title President Kim Young. Ladies, Hoffaday and thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Okay, this uh, we were talking pre-show prior to us actually going on the air, and you know we're talking about some of the various things that um, have been going on for years, and you know there needs to be more locally about financial education and estate planning and things like that. So talk a little bit about some of the topics that will be discussed. Okay. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're bringing the wealth management team from uh, First Hawaiian Bank's uh, Hawaii uh, branch in, and they're teaming with uh, Carl Smith Ball's uh, trust department that works on trusts um, in conjunction with the local Carl Smith Ball office team and the local First Hawaiian Bank and our local Deloitte and & Touche. Okay. And what they're bringing us is information on um, trusts, on wealth management, on um, how a trust works to do a continuation after the principles are gone, um, avoiding probate, uh, planning. succession <laughs> planning, very important. Um, and actually a big part of it is uh, planning for closely held businesses and how, they, you, how you plan for it to succeed after you're gone. Mm -hmm. And so. another interesting topic is the organic act citizen, oh. which is so vague and a lot of people don't know a lot about it. Okay, so um, drill down into that for a moment if you could. Um, well, basically it's um, like if you're a citizen of Guam or, you know, having a social security of 586, a resident of Guam, you're entitled to some benefits of mm -hmm. being part of that organic act. And you have to attend the seminar to get more to details find about it. From the real profession. <laughs> 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 Very, we're very going good, very to good learn. Sales pitch. Yeah, we're <laughs> yes. going to learn for the same There's reason. There's a lot of benefits. Yeah. Okay, so I'm in, but you know, I'm somebody like in his mid 30s, approaching 40. Oh, God. Um, and, you know, I was fortunate because here at KUM, you know, we deal a lot with people talking about financial seminars and things of that nature. And there's been a lot in recent years of teaching people at the high school level and even in middle school and everything Correct. about financial management and maybe, you know, securities and stocks and bonds. Uh, from Lynn, from your perspective in the bank, uh, how much financial education is there right now at large on Guam and how much more is needed? To be truthfully, I've been volunteering for budgeting class at freshman level at the University of Guam for certain um, entrepreneur classes. Mm -hmm. And based on that experience, only 10% are savers and a lot are asking mom and dad. Mm -hmm. So no, we don't have enough financial planning in any of our classes right now, even at college level. Mm -hmm. Is that just generally because of a lack of awareness or? Yes, lack of awareness. Lack of um, the parents now are both dual income earners, not enough time with the kids, parent involvement, teaching them the basics mm -hmm. of reconciling a checkbook, saving for the future. If you were to uh, invest in your 401k at the age of 21, hundred dollars a month based on the compounding interest, by 65, you would have at least one million in your account. Wow. So okay. it's that, you know, that impact of it. But we just don't have enough parent involvement and also financial education in all our classes. Okay, well, that's a key point because, Kim, I'd like to ask you next. Um, going on that whole concept of, you know, parental involvement and, you know, you already talked about, you know, some of the businesses and maybe, you know, trying to avoid probate and things like that and, you know, generations kind of squabbling over um, estates as they go forth, um, right. you know, businesses closing. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that in a moment. Um, for whom is the seminar geared, you know, can it, can it be the young person as well as the business person as well as, you know, maybe somebody who's getting a little bit up there in their age or? I think um, a number of people that I've spoken with have said that the, the presenters um, of, this, of this seminar are like the real deal upper echelon. So I know a number of attorneys who will be at, uh, attending. Um, not, not just First Hawaiian Bank, I understand that other banks are sending their employees as well. I know a number of realtors who want to know more about how their customers are planning their succession plans. And um, on the other side of that, um, I have three children that reside on Guam and um, they'll be attending because I think it's really important information for them. Um, I started learning about it when my parents started de developing a trust, maybe um, 20 years ago. And over the years, as I've learned more and more, I realize how much I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
so I think it's pretty much for not only the Third seasoned professionals, uh, there's going to be plenty of information there for the seasoned professionals. And then for those of us who, um, for those of us at more of an entry level coming in, it'll be probably as much as we can absorb. <laughs> okay. Well, it's institutional as well as personal. Yes, and yeah, the and the continuing education credits, we've asked the Guam Association of Realtors. They um, have reviewed the course, um, um, Syllabus and they're offering realtors seven and a half yeah. credits. Yeah, That's seven and a half. half. And the bar association is six offering and six and a half it's continuing awesome. <laughs> education credits. Yeah. Okay, ladies. So we will have much more on this. Again, this is on the twenty third. So we'll have a lot more as we get closer and closer to the day. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.